Witterson. I'm just going to show you today's lovely install, which is on a Seat Leon. Uh, this particular system is the nine inch frame and um, comes with a link called processor and 464 gig of RAM on this one. You can go a little bit lower on the RAM and you can go a little bit lower on the processor. Uh, but we always advise going for the eight core one, obviously, it's to ensure the rapid and smooth um, performance of the system. Uh, what you'll find with a lot of the four core processor ones, which is the low end ones, which we do sell. But we will always advise that they're only good for like basically if you just want to play your music on mp3 it's reasonably if you start using the likes of google maps what's spotify ways and all that type of stuff which needs a bit of unfinite uh, processor then obviously a core processor is what you need uh but yeah it's entirely up to you and what your use is um but yeah this is the style three range from our website uh if it doesn't look familiar to what you see advertised on the product in terms of the user interface here it's only reason being is because you can change this interface if you want. Um, so if this customer's gone and changed it to this one here, which is totally fine. Uh, but you can customize these um, skins by, by, by one of the back end settings on here. But I'll just go and give you a little rundown of what it's got. It works totally fine with the state of wear control. So I'll just show you the radio first. Here we are. So it's totally fine with the state of wear. Let me do this skip and up and down. Customers had a uh, speaker upgrade today and all, which is obviously what we've done for them, put some new speakers in for them so the car uh, is enhanced in the sound system. Um, okay, so I'll just go back to the homepage here. Um, this is your navigation here, obviously comes with, uh, you can set up any maps of choice on there. This is obviously first time use, so if you put that one, this is now gonna show Google Maps when you um, do that one. Um, so that's that one there. Uh, Spotify, obviously the customers downloaded that himself. You can get Spotify from your phone into this through the CarPlay, the Android Auto app, uh, which is this one here. So obviously uh, it's linking to my phone, which is the iPhone. So obviously this is the CarPlay interface. So if you've got any music apps, uh, text messaging apps, uh, navigation from your phone, it is an easy way of getting it onto the system. Uh, as you can see, there's me tuning radio, which is Dab Radio, uh, SoundCloud, which is obviously on my phone, Google Maps, WeChat, WhatsApp, uh, TalkSport, etc., etc. Um, so if we go back to the uh, Android side, uh, this is the DSP sound processor. So if you're into your, uh, your, your, your music output sound, subs, subwoofers, amplifiers and all that, there's a lot of customization you can do with the uh, the sound output on there. Uh, also, they're going into the back end applications. This is obviously all the apps that are basically on the system. Um, any apps that you would download also goes into here. Uh, as you can see, there's Orc, so if you wanted to link anything like a TV box to it, you can do it through there. Uh, some people are using front cameras uh, by just putting a normal RCA camera into the front and then linking it in there and then obviously having a front image. Uh, there's your Bluetooth. Well, as I say, if you use this app, which is a CarPlay Android Auto, you can use your Bluetooth through there too. Uh, Chrome, that's a browser. File Manager, so if you want to basically put any applications onto the system from USB pen, so if you're familiar with the... Let's say the IPTV or anything like that, and you have to, you can't get it from the Play Store and download it from another site. You can upload it through there, but that may not be relevant to everyone. Um, okay, so Gallery, Google, uh, that's another browser like Chrome. Uh, as you can see, it's nice, quick, and responsive. Uh, that's what you get on an eight core processor. Uh, as I say, if you're going to go four core, I would not advise. Only if you you just want it for radio and stuff. Uh, but if you start using anything like Spotify and Google Maps sort of thing, then obviously the processor speed needs to be up there on standard to obviously deal with the uh, memory and stuff like that. Um, okay, so there's your Play Store. So obviously this is where all you get your apps from. So if you log into there, scroll up here, so you can see it's still nice and responsive. One second, that's the bottom of the page. Okay, obviously offline, so we can't really go much further with that. Um, let's go back to the home page. That's what else we got here okay uh vehicle settings okay so obviously gives you a bit of cam bus support here in terms of your revs and your, your fuel consumption and stuff like that um let's have a little look video player so if you can put your movies or music onto a pen drive if you're quite old-fashioned it does come with some usb cables and you can play your movies and stuff like that through here there's a full hd screen so i'll just show you the demo let's have a little look at that one so as you can see it's nice and clear uh, this is what you get with this range. I think it's got an, um, a QLED uh, LCD screen on it, to be honest with you. So the image is quite vibrant and, and, and quite nice. So that's that there. YouTube, probably 
think you're quite familiar with that. Um, okay, just to go back to the beginning of the video, which I didn't explain, this screen here, uh, the actual um, product comes with this, this outer frame here. Um, as I say, it does taper the other way around if you're a left-hand drive car, which we can get for the left-hand drive too. Uh, so obviously if you are from a different country than a right hand drive then obviously you can choose that um, Touch assist So that's pretty much just a, like a little annoying dot if I was to switch that on which is home page dot um, And let me just show you the back end settings So obviously there's all your Wi-Fi and where it does take us 3G SIM card, oh, sorry 4G SIM card uh, So if you want to get your um, data usage from a SIM card not from your hotspot you can do it through there uh, device just allows you to customize the display sounds stuff like that if you're familiar with android then you're obviously familiar with some of these settings here a lot of them are applied to the um car itself it does work with the parking sensors and just put it into reverse as you can see the sensors is there uh, also we haven't put a camera on today because we didn't go for the rear camera so that's why it's a black screen uh, but the sensors do work can go into here, which is the back end settings with a password. Just some things that you're not really going to need to change unless we advise. Uh, but I say that's just a little bit of extra system. Um, and just to show you, that's set some to back up and restore and stuff like that. Um, okay, guys, I'll just bring it to an end. So I'll uh, hope you like the video. If you've got any questions, give us a shout. Waitison.